cough, 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 cough. What is going on if you don't know me, it's Eden B with you. Welcome to Colours. With me I've got... Miss Alicia Farriaki. And here today we've got a special very guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name's Terry Riley and I, uh, I work at the Rotunda. And one of my main areas of responsibility is the gardens, mm -hmm. which uh, we help to uh, build, basically. Mm -hmm. um, on a piece of derelict land, um, two and a half years ago I think we started. And it was this derelict land here. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's more there but you probably can't see it right. uh, and we've created these lovely gardens which I'm sure you'll be taking uh, photographs and film of okay. all morning. Um, can you tell us what this was before you created Well, There, there was an old school here um, but it had been knocked down and uh, the ground works have just skimmed it top a layer of topsoil on, on top of it and uh, so it was quite hard for us all to build uh, uh, plant all these trees because uh, there was plenty of the old school underneath, so we actually filled five ton, sorry, five eight ton scapes uh, full of uh, brickwork and stuff, which we had to dig up to plant the trees on. So it's hard work. Can you tell us what you like best about this garden? Um, I think I like best the fact that it's completely and utterly um, renewable. If you know what, that's a poor expression, but it's a gift that kind of keeps on giving. Uh, we put, we're able now to produce. You know, literally thousands of fresh plants every year uh, from dividing up herbaceous plants or taking cuttings, um, and we, we literally can provide plants for the community. Uh, kids that come in, strawberry plants to take home, uh, and we've, we've had lots of uh, peas are growing. Lots, lots of kids have never had a pea out of the pod, let alone one that you've just picked. Uh, and uh, believe me, if you pick a pea, and then eat the peas, you know, just before the, the, the ripe and slightly small, they are as sweet as skit, sort of skittles. Do they still make skittles sweets? So this is, <laughs> so this rotunda has is, is had, a, I'm guessing, a positive impact on the community. It's very much what the rotunda is about. It's, it's, it's situated in, in the middle of Kirkdale and it, it sort of helps improve the environment of, of Kirkdale and, and hopefully the people's lives. Alright, so Terry, can you tell us who these are two, they look kind of like important people, so can you introduce us and tell us who they are? Right, well, because, because we're having a sort of open day here, uh, we, we did a collage of the gardens, and uh, at the centre of them are two, uh, our most important two volunteers, they're in every day, and I don't think the Rotunda could run without them, and, and Billy's here watering every day, although sadly his services weren't required today, <laughs> and uh, this is Edna, who you might have walked past on the raffle stall, but Edna does absolutely everything. She had a week's holiday earlier, and the place nearly just ran, was stopped. She's fantastic. You, you, you must talk to Edna. She is a real force of nature. Um, if you don't mind me asking, who's the main help of this amazing person? Who's the main person? Um, oh. I, I honestly don't know who the main person is. I'm the person who's here most often. But we have volunteers who, who, who come in, like, like Billy and Edna. But we also have uh, the, the North Local Creation Service, for example. Uh, uh, let, let's let's say their clients come down and they work in the garden and learn stuff. And to be honest, get a lot of stuff from it. Uh, we've been able to uh, infuse people for gardening. And, and so they regularly sort of take plants home for their own gardens. And, and one one lad, uh, we had some off cuts when we were building the. Uh, he was a brilliant lad actually because he, 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 he worked really hard when we were constructing the place. And he took some off cuts. Uh, you probably can't see, but basically raised beds made made with sleepers. And he, we had some off cuts and put them in the back of my car. Went round to his house and he built a garden, raised it for his daughter, for his daughter, and she's now fully committed. It's great, it's great. Um, so who helped you? Because of course there was the design on part of this. Yeah. Can you sh any shout out to anyone who helped you design this? Well, I didn't design it at all. Uh, uh, you'll be talking to Andy, uh, Andy. shortly, uh, who's from BCA, uh, designed the gardens and, and took took it took it from derelict land from to this vision that you see here. Like this. Right, oh. Terry. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so pleasure. much. Been lovely speaking Sorry. to you. Cut, 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 cut,
cuff, 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 cuff.